welcome to my channel. Well, we're going to try this some more, and we're going to scratch a GEC. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Now, what I'm going to say about these are, um, Pete was asking, you know, where to get these. Now, on the last time he asked about that, I gave him a link to Amazon, and I know there's a bunch of them on there, but I, I don't have any specific links. I just go on to Amazon, and I look up the hardness tester, and then I look for the best price and stuff. And uh, the main thing is to make sure, you know, if you want to get one of these, is that it's actually a, a Tuvosan or, or Subosan or whatever you, however you pronounce that, made in Japan. Because there are knockoffs out there. Um, but... Just remember that, you know, they some of these have it written in English, and some of them have them in Chinese, you know, so that you can understand all this. But this is what you really need to understand, is, you know, they're different colors. This dark blue almost got me looking in black, you know. But as long as you put them back in a case, and don't have them all lying around like I did, you, you should be all right. I went to the um, the manufacturer's video on how to use this to figure it out because there's a lot of videos on there. I figured the manufacturer, the person that made the tool, you know, should be the one that knows um, the most about it. And uh, and their test, they were saying, you only go five millimeters, five millimeters. All right, that is not that's not a huge amount of distance we'll go over to millimoids come on we need metrics now right there <clears throat> that's that's as far as you need this to move according to them that's 5.3 really i actually go further than that but this is all the distance you need to test five millimeters all right what's five millimeters in inches 0.19 of an inch you know so I mean it's not much you'll see you'll see some testings on on YouTube where they're where they're going zhuzh, zhuzh. it also says you don't need a lot of pressure you just make contact with the surface and you push you'll see people look at this um, yeah so like I said I'm learning none of this is you know, with Rockwell hardness, when you've got a range of uh, five between them, that's that, that is a big difference. Sometimes, you know, when you start getting up in here, 60 and 61 and 59 can be all pretty close, you know, on that. Uh, the difference between 60 and 65 is a big difference on each one of those steps. It's not going to pick that up, but you'll see it. If you've ever watched Forged in Fire and, and some of those uh, series and stuff where they're actually forging blades, when they quench the blade, when they test it, they use a file because a file has a high Rockwell hardness. So I, I was going to look that up before I started talking about this, but I'll get Google. I'll put it up here somewhere, you know. Maybe Goofy can go find it for us and do something instead of looking goofy. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, if you go to push on it, you, you go to push on the blade, here's the GEC I'm going to test, it's the GEC 71 Bullnose Farm and Field, this was donated to me, it was a used knife, it already had scratches on it, um, <clears throat> so I, I don't feel too bad about scratching it, but it's a GEC Carbon. Made in 2018. All right. So as you can see, it's already got scratches on it. <clears throat> I'm going to wipe this off because it feels slightly oily. I just want to make sure we... You know, oil can reduce friction. And so I want to make sure... So we're right off. We're going to start with the GEC. Because everybody was probably looking... If I wanted a clickbait title, I would put in there, you know. 
I'm going to scratch my GC. All right, so let's start out with a 50. All right, now th these hardness testers start off with 40, 40, 45, and then it should be at least this range, you know. It, it should be at least 50 on a carbon steel GC, I would think. All right, so we got to get up to 2X where everybody can see everything. All right, there's the pre-existing scratches. This one also had a pen wrap right down there when you would close. So even GEC will get those. But it would hit right underneath the bull nose. You can see I took it out now. But uh, it was a combination of sharpening that a little bit and also getting down in here with sanding. But let's let's go ahead. Everybody's five minutes. Ah, see, you got knocked over. I told you. Don't get too close. Terry knows he stays back up on the firehouse most of the time. He knows better. Oh, yeah. Real slidey. I mean, like like glass. right and and they don't say go back and forth either they say go one way but i, I do a lot of things wrong on, on this so all right so we're going to get another one and put that one back in its box so we don't mess up here's 55 again uh, you know it 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 almost felt like it it wants to catch. Yeah. It's it's not scratching it. So what I what I've been able to tell from <clears throat> using these testers is if you get one of these and it it doesn't slide quite as easy. It it just has little spots that it's trying to dig in. Sometimes it's pre existing damage on the on the blade, but other times it's you're close. You're close to what this HRC is on this blade. The next one will probably scratch it, which is 60. So we go to 60. <clears throat> and again, if I um, if I ever supply any links and stuff on the channel, I'm not affiliated with the, any of those. It still slides. If if I push hard on it, I think I could get it to scratch. All right here, I'm gonna use kind of the tip, and I'm gonna kind of push, push on it. Yeah. It it made a little scratch there, but I, I was pushing on it. So I, like I said, I'm not a hundred percent sure. What's the proper thing, you know? I mean, the the Japanese one says, don't pull backwards, just push forward, only go five millimeters. It didn't say five centimeters, it said five millimeters. So, all right, you know. It catches on that. You can feel that uh, with this, that etching. You can feel that. But it doesn't catch even that etching anyways in my estimation it's above 60 so the next one of course <laughs> is it's gonna scratch all right so let's let's scratch a GEC oh yeah I can feel it digging in see that see that scratch right there Let's put another one in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the difference. This file is Rockwell 65. This material is under that. So, I'd estimate this one could be like 61. But it's just a guess, you know? I mean, it's all kind of like relative. Alright, well, so this is the... I'm just re reaffirming that it's noticeable when it when it happens though. I don't know now. 
Now 60 is wanting to dig a little. All right, let's get a fresh spot. It's just going to have to be on the GC. I was going to test a bunch of other knives, but look how long this has taken. Well, you know, science marches slowly on. Yeah, if I don't hit any pre-existing scratches or cuts, it, it slides. Let's try over here on this side. A virgin spot. I can see my fingerprints. Nothing. No, 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 no scratch. So really, that's how I do it. I mean, uh, this GEC is between 60 and 65, which is good for carbon steel. I don't know what particular type of carbon steel they use there. I think it might be 1095. I'm not, I'm not sure. So there you go. That, that's, a, that's a GEC test. All right. Let's do one more. Let's do the S35, S30. Let's see, it's not B in or anything. It's just S30V. <clears throat> All right, the three that we will normally use here are 55. So let's start out with 55. We'll get a two for one test in here, you know, because I can get, it takes me forever to get this stuff. Took me five minutes to get around to actually scratching a blade, you know. Slides. I'm going with these grains and everything, too. All right. 60. Don't scratch the spider. He's going to bite you. The spider's not going to bite me. Hmm. It's harder to see on this, but... Yeah, like that would probably. Again, it, it slides, but it's biting a little bit. This going to be a way most of your steel is going to test, I guess, you know. Between 60 and 65. Man, it only, it only barely scratched that at 65. You can hear it though, you hear it? You hear it digging in. <clears throat> yeah, so this is this is pretty tough. Alright. Well, can we can we do the buck? Can we, sir? It's gonna be a long video. I don't want to make it a 30 minute one, you know. I had to break that one down into two because it it takes so long to upload. Alright. Buck 110. Boss heat treat. 55. Slides. That scratch was me hitting the edge right there. The bubble. 60. Hmm. It's, it's scratching. It's digging. This buck cost more than that GEC did. But. Slide City. <clears throat> and that was 60. So, of course, 65 is going to scratch it. <clears throat> so that's what I'm, I'm trying to say on this is don't feel like you have to go out and and, and buy these testers um, that it's going to give you a lot of valuable information because, man, it barely scratches. It barely digs in on 65.
it finds a couple of spots that it can dig, but yeah, that's that's pretty impressive. <clears throat> so yeah, I've always wanted it. It doesn't hurt to have test equipment stuff. I I I always wanted to get a set of these, but you know they're expensive. They they used to be like a hundred dollars, and recently I've seen they come down to like sixty some. But still, that's a lot of money. If you're a knife maker or something, you might uh, want it because uh, I, I found I found steels that'll scratch. You know, some Pakistani steels that'll scratch uh, with these two right here. So it's helpful to know, but like to buy a set on a comment, it just depends on on what you're using it for. If you're using it on an axe, you want it to be a little bit softer. Um, so it can withstand the impact. There's there's things in steels where they call like toughness. You know, toughness you might think is the same as edge retention, but but it, it has something to do with it. But uh, it's how how well the metal can take a, a shock. You know. Anyways, like I said, I don't know all about it, but there you go. There's there's three that were tested, and according to uh, the tester. All three of these are the same, between 60 and 65, right? <laughs> so, um, carbon steel, don't count that out because that's pretty good. 420, a lot of people look at the number and go, ooh, 420, it's so low. We need more modern steel. Even 440C has come out. In the yeah, but guess what? It still works. It still cuts. I, I know, I've used this one. This thing cuts like crazy. Uh, this GEC is also a great worker, you know, and cutter and everything. And of course, you know, Sage 5 Spider Co. This one's lightweight. I got this one mainly because of the compression line. I love the compression line. It's great. So, um, there you go. I don't know if Goofy did his job. He was supposed to research something for us and put some information up there but i saw i was nodding out so there you go there's another little uh, test that took too long once again thank you for watching and have a nice day